Hi, I'd like to show you how to load the AMI default safety program to your AMI controller. I've already scanned in the system here and I'm going to go into a free run, which allows me to communicate to the AMI. And here you can see I have box six and box seven in the project. Here, I will now go to change the FSOE address. I'll choose Twin Safe, pull down, select Download Safe Address. Here you can see box six and seven. I will select those two. Here you can see their addresses are already 50 and 51. I will change those to 25 and 26. And click Next. Enter the username, password. Select the two devices that I want to download the new address to. Finish the process. And here, the safe addresses were uh, changed. The last step I'll do here is I will power cycle the device, and I'll show you that here. So I broke the power to the AMIs, and I'll bring that back. Now I'd like to show you how to load the default safety project to the AMIs. I'll right click safety, add existing item, select the AMI project, default project. Here, I will have the dialog, go to the target system, Here, I will select the physical AMI device, and here is box six. Okay. Reload, verify the communication, and upload that into the safe address. And then here, I will download the default safety project by clicking on TwinSafe, multi-download, and the default safety program is loaded. Now the other device, I have to do the same. Here, I will click on box six, seven, verify communication, load up the address. And now when I go to download it, I get this box. What it's telling you is that it would like to delete the process image out of box six. Select no to this and continue with the download process to box seven. This completes the, pro the de loading the default safety project to the AMIs. Hopefully this helps you.